Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React.js Cognitor. Today we are going to fetch the user information when sign in, right? So here you can see that I have fetched my user uh, email, my username and my phone. If I go or check to the Cognitor, you can see that test 12. If I go click on this one here, you can see that my attributes are test, name, email and the phone number. You can also retrieve the Cognitor ID also, okay? That is also present when sign in. There is a uh, JWT token and all the all of the things. Then you can also use that one. Okay. So here I have fetched the attributes that is name, email, and the phone number. You can see that. Okay. The same thing. Right. To how to fetch this one. So we are going to learn in this video. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share, and comment on my video. So let's get started. So how to get this user information? So this is my user status. Okay. So this is uh, by default email name and the phone number phone number is null. Okay. So get user. I have the function component amount. You can see that. Right. So here I get the all the information of the user. So here you can see that user pool dot get current user. If not, otherwise false. Get cognitive user get session. If I go and check whether the session is maintained or not, <coughs> go to the storage. Local storage, it is there. So here you can see that the Cognito session might be uh, the session is there in the in in here, right? But I'm not. I think it's there. I think my session. This is Rajni. This is again 1990. But my username is test, right? Session storage. No index storage cookies. So I think that is maybe session would be cognitor.user.session. If it is, then otherwise it show the error. Console.log session is valid, then it will give you the session details, right? And here I'm just getting the get user user attributes data and uh, callback attributes. So I'm just running the callback, right? So whatever you can see get user information. And then I have called this function that is get current user function right in the in, in my user status. Okay, so it will fetch the attributes and here I just loop it. If the name email, then I'm going to set that email attribute. If it is name, then I'm setting the uh, name attribute. If it is phone number, then I'm setting that value in the state and just console uh, this uh, just rendering into the HTML. You can state dot email, state dot name, state dot phone. Okay. And uh, this is also this is if it is there, then sign out button, right? So you can see that we have successfully fetched all the user attribute details into our React Shares Cognito. So any doubt, any query in that, just let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on my video. Have a nice day.